So at least one student in my section of DS-106 has run into a problem um, once he began uh, experimenting with installing new themes on his site. And what happened was, I guess he installed a theme and suddenly his site disappeared. So he would go to his URL and there was just a white page. Um, and I know that can be a little bit scary, fear not. Um, themes can't affect the actual content of your site. All themes are is kind of like wrapping on a package. And what's more than likely happened in this case is that he's installed a theme that's corrupt or that just hasn't been upgraded uh, to work with the latest version of WordPress. And the fix for this is that you have to delete the theme. But if you can't get into your website, how do you do that? Um, and to, because this, is some, this involves something that you probably haven't done since you set up your host last week, I wanted to put together a real quick screencast to show you what's involved in removing a corrupt theme or even a corrupt plugin um, if something should happen after you install a plugin. And what you're going to need to do is log into UMW Domains. You can go to umwdomains.com and click the login link or the URL is just umwdomains.com and then colon 8443. Um, and that'll bring up a, a, a login prompt. You're going to want to put in the username and password that you created when you set up your web, web account. If you don't remember your password, there's a link here to um, have a reset email to you. And then we'll just go ahead and log in. And that's going to take you to this interface, which probably looks a little bit familiar. This is where you went to install WordPress at the beginning of the class. Um, and you'll see over here on the left, about two thirds of the way down, there's a link for something called the file manager. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. And what that's going to open up is a web interface for me to interact with all the files that are installed on my, um, in my web space. Um, and there's stuff in here on, on my site because I've installed WordPress. There will be stuff on your site as well. But many of you installed WordPress in a, in a subdirectory. So what you're going to see when you get here is not all of these folders and files, but probably just a few folders. And one of them will be labeled WordPress. And you're going to click on that, which will actually take you to the files that comprise a WordPress installation. And eventually, what you're looking for is a folder that's um, called WP-Content. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And in there, you'll find another folder called Themes. And there you'll see a series of folders, each one corresponding to a different theme that's installed on your site. Classic, default, 2011, and 2010 are all themes that are installed just um, by default when you install WordPress. Um, any other folders would be themes that you've installed um, since getting your site up. Um, and what you want to do is find the folder that corresponds to the last theme that you activated on your site. I've gone ahead and just installed a theme for demonstration purposes called Suffusion. It hasn't actually broken my site, but I just want to show you what you would do is once you've located the folder corresponding to the right theme, you just click that checkbox and then press the button for remove. Confirm the removal, click OK, and that folder is gone. Now what should happen is if you go back to your website, it should revert back to the default theme, which is 2011. Um, and you can go ahead and install another theme, and if something bad happens again, you know how to fix it.